That's the old lentil soup. Hello and welcome back to this episode, which could be a little bit different. Um, I'm here at the Oxford Gun Company, uh, where I work two or three times a week. And last night, as we were locking up, we noticed a group of rats in the barn where all the clays are kept. So Toby and I uh, spent about 10 minutes there last night uh, using some thermal spotters, counted seven up on the shelves. So this afternoon, we're going to have a bit of a tidy up and set a little bit of a trap there with some bait. I've got my FX Maverick uh, 22 here. I'm just going to do a quick zero check. Now I've zeroed it at 14 yards, so I've put a little target out of 14 yards. So let's just have a quick one shot zero on this and make sure this is okay. The sight mark wraith, uh, like most electronic scopes, you can save different profiles on it. So I've got this down as profile one uh, for the 14 yards. So Let's uh, just do a quick check now on this and see if we're all set to go for later on. Right, so I'm on the range here now. This is what we call the annex. This is the new part of the, the range. Um, not used normally for sort of lessons and for people doing what I'm doing now, setting the scope up. So that paper target is at 14 yards. Let's zoom up on that. Load up. Now remember we're on the rats tonight in the barn. So let's see. Oh, it's not looking very good if you're a rat, is it? Well, there we are. That's pretty conclusive evidence that uh, the rifle's set up, ready to go. So the sight mark Wraith, this is the 4K. It's got its own built-in mount, and all I've done on the top of the Maverick, I've put a couple of little 13mm um, riser blocks just to give that a bit more height, um, so line it up with my eye a bit better, so nothing fancy. Um, on the front of the rifle is a Donny FL Fat Boy, and on the end of that is an air stripper. Now I spent quite some time last February talking to Donny at the British Shooting Show about this moderator and the air stripper, and it was from chatting to him that he convinced me to put the air stripper on there, because from his testing, he'd found it made a big difference and to be honest I've not had a problem with this it's always been pinpoint accurate um, and uh, it certainly does the job so this is the kit that will be used later on tonight so back to work now so I've got Toby there help me uh, just have a quick setting up uh, well meanwhile he's in and out locking the shop up as I was getting ready to do the rats That is a piece of apple core in the foreground and the damp patches on the floor are bits of lentil soup that we put out. The rats absolutely love that stuff. Awful to eat, but the rats love it. And as you can see, they're, they're coming in two by two and it's difficult to spot them with a thermal, get on it with a rifle. By the time you found it on the rifle, they've cleared off. his mate come to look see what all the screaming was about so while they were dashing in and out I couldn't understand where they were going and there's a clip in a little while where they were actually hiding so this rat is from the Lone Star State in Texas didn't like that no, I don't think he did Again, this is find it with a spotter and then you've got to find it with a rifle. Oh, there he is, I see him. Very, very small rat this one was, tiny. Gets blown away with 25 grains of goodness. Wasn't a lot left of them behind that shelf. So a thermal now, this is looking through the Griffin that I've got and just the various um, optical views. So 
went from the fusion and that is like the black and white view uh, night vision camera image fusion is the night vision camera with a thermal overlay that's why you can see the white hot spots and then we go across to the traditional white hot and then back to the black hot oh there's blood dripping down on the floor over there yeah he's up on the top shelf victory roll. Again, this chap is on the lentil soup. And made short work of him. So lentil soup is a good one if folks want to know uh, what will keep a rat um, in the same place. Uh, buy some cheap lentil soup from Audi. It works a treat. In a victory roll. So a quick look at him again through the Griffin spotter and his last kicks. Um, a quick check around now on the shelves. Uh, Toby had gone by this time so I'm on my own and I was wondering where they had all been sort of scarpering off to. There's a little bit of footage from a few minutes earlier and they were actually going up on the roof seeking refuge up there. So this was just a, a few minutes last night um, bit of homework to do and then we'll get back on it next week so it was my day off today but I went into work um, having sold two BSA R12s to a father and son and then last Friday at the night vision event they both bought a hike micro Alpex so I've been there and set both of those up for them today probably won't have to wrap those up for Christmas they'll be on them tomorrow most of the day shooting and enjoying it so uh, that's what it's all about um, I hope you've enjoyed the content of the video. If you have, please click on the subscribe button and hit the notification bell. It'd be great to have you along for another video. So I'll catch you again on the next one. Thank you very much for watching. See you later. Cheerio.